Wall Street, uh, including calling them out on the mortgage uh, issues, calling for a Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, even before we got one created, uh, calling for changes in CEO pay. Uh, but I, I honestly think that the, the best answer to this is the fact that everybody that I know uh, who looks at what's happening in this campaign sees the same thing. The Wall Street interests, the money interests, the Republican political interests are spending a lot of money to try to defeat me. So I, I just find it kind of a, a strange argument. I happen to agree with Senator Sanders. I'm not just going after Wall Street, though. I think that's too narrow a target. I think we need to go after a company like Johnson Controls that is trying to avoid paying taxes after all of us bailed it out by pretending to sell itself in a so-called inversion in Europe. It's a perversion. It should be stopped. I want to go after the hedge funds that have bought up drug companies. You know, Valiant Pharmaceuticals, Turing Pharmaceuticals, taking drugs that have been around a long time and upping the price. So I take seriously the obligation that I would have as president once again to try to get the deck unstacked, to get the odds favoring the average American then. And, but I, I just have to, I have to respectfully say, I, I, think, I think Senator Sanders' uh, target is too small. I really do. You know, I respect him going after the big banks. I agree with him. No bank is too big to fail, no executive too powerful to jail. But we actually passed the process to be able to take on banks that pose excessive risk in our financial system in Dodd-Frank. So let, let's know the next president has to implement but doesn't have to achieve that. Here's what I want to do. I want to go after all the other culprits. It wasn't just the big banks. It was the insurance company, AIG. It was the investment bank, Lehman Brothers. It was Countrywide Mortgage. It was Wachovia. There were a lot of bad actors. And if all you do is look over here, I'm telling you, they're going to be over there in the shadow banking sector just cooking up all kinds of ways to once again uh, put our economy at risk. So I've got no argument that we need to take on these vested interests. I just have a wider group that I think we need to go after from pharmaceuticals, insurance companies, and shadow banking, and other uh, corporations that I think are undermining our economy. And frankly, they are undermining our democracy. This Johnson Controls thing really infuriates me. We bailed them out. The Republicans wanted the auto industry to just fail. They didn't care about the millions of jobs. Barack Obama and the Democratic Congress gave them a bailout. It turned out to be a good deal. All of us paid for it. They paid back the Treasury. So we didn't lose any money, and we saved millions of jobs, and the auto industry just had a great year. Johnson Controls was one of those begging for the bailout. And now they're not going to pay their taxes? We're going to go right after that. That is absolutely wrong, and we need to be focused on getting a fix to that. One of the things, one of the things that Senator Sanders points to and a lot of your critics point to is you.